and we are going to let these things go before they blow me up. Oh, <laughs> they blew me up, but I got them as well. Oh, man, that was great. What's going on, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. This week, we're starting off with... Well, I guess it's technically a car, but I, I, actually, it's more of a trike. It's the Morgan three-wheeler, and uh, yeah, I figured this would be a great car to uh, test around the track here. Uh, absolutely beautiful to look at, and what's blowing me away with this thing is it's only 210 blocks. Usually creations around this size are a lot more blocks, so we're gonna test this thing out now It's supposed to be able to go up to 400 kilometers an hour. We'll see if we can get up to that today uh, It does have a power boost though So I'm gonna try it out with without the power boost first and see how good this thing is at getting around the course So uh, I'm quickly realizing this thing has almost no traction at all But you if you can get it going in a good drift I mean, you can see you can go right around these things, but you are going to slow down, unfortunately, because you're constantly drifting. This is amazing, though. I honestly didn't expect it to uh, be so good at handling with having only three wheels. I don't know if that would affect it or anything, but uh, yeah, it's going, oh god, much better than I expected, and I was way too close for comfort. All right, you really got to hit these turns sideways or you're going to go, oh god, off of the track. There's just enough room. I mean, I'm even drifting uphill here. This is, this is, I, I don't know if it's because we're on an ice world. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I almost flipped it all the way around. But yeah, I don't know if it's just this thing doesn't have handling or if it's because we're on the ice version of the road, which it, go, oh, Jesus, could be. But I'm using all the road I can now just to keep this thing full power and going all the way around. All right, but we are at a straight here, so let's uh, put on the boost, and wow, I didn't expect that. See how fast this can go. So look at that, we're at 380 right now, and my front fender went off. Oh my God, the, the fender actually broke before I flipped it. And there's my rocket over there, uh, still doing rocket-like things. So yeah, we actually ended up flipping that. Let's try that again. We almost got it to 400. All right, here's the best straight right here. So we are going to put that boost back on, and I am going to try and hold this out for as long as I can. 380. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this turn. We are not. Okay, I went way <laughs> sideways. But uh, yeah, you can't do turns with the rockets on, and I can't even turn them off. So once they're on, you got to just go and hope for the best. And w what? What just happened? Why did I lose my back end? You know what? It might work better without the back end. Actually, I won't have my boost now. So yeah, my back end literally just fell off. All right, but this car's got one more button that we can press, so let's boost here, go as fast as we can, and it's got a self-destruction button for whatever reason. I'm not going to question it, though. That was awesome. All right, well, that was the Morgan Freewheeler. I like to show you guys at least one race-focused vehicle in every one of these, and uh, yeah... This is that one. I gotta say, one of the most interesting looking vehicles that we've seen. Absolutely awesome and great on the track as well. Driving around a track, well that's cute. Now it's time to get into the true fun stuff. This, this is, this is what I wait for. This is what Besiege is all about to me. This is called the Titan. It is a missile barrager and basically it's just a truck with 60 explosives that you can aim up inside of it. So, uh, we're gonna try this thing out here. Okay, so we got two cameras. This camera is obviously a first person, but this camera, I believe, yes, this is the camera that you have to use to aim up your missiles. So, the missiles will kind of go into the middle of the screen, so we're right by the tower here. We may as well try and take out the tower. It's actually closer than I thought, so this is not a long-range device. This is just a personal device. So, here we go. It's got 10 different buttons to launch 60 different explosives so we're gonna let them go there's our first shot now those ones are going way sideways but some of these should hopefully get closer and closer yeah they are slowly going inwards it's looking like and i mean you get the idea this is a lot of weaponry <laughs> And there we go. That is, well, if it was a full castle, that thing would be totally destroyed. That was really fun. And now we are nothing but a truck. All right, well, that was fun. And I will say, if you are curious, this is a totally vanilla design. So I know you guys love your vanilla designs. And yes, this is indeed one. Obviously, it's just using some skin packs and that's it. But let's go try and take down something a little bit larger with it. 
All right, we're at Highland Tower here. This is not going to be dangerous at all. Let's back up behind those arrows. Oh, God. Okay, so that's as far as they can shoot. Now, I'm hoping... All right, I'm going to have to go in a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get shot. And we are going to let these things go before they blow me up. Oh, <laughs> they blew me up. <laughs> them as well. Oh, man, that was great. All right, I figured we'd check out another castle as well. Oh, my God, I might actually be able to destroy it with the bodies of my enemies. Actually, can I run into it? I, I feel like this thing's fast enough to even run into it. I mean, look at it. It does freaking wheelies. All right, this might be a bad idea. Okay, that was definitely a bad idea. Didn't need my front end anyways. Hopefully. I, I still got my ammo here, so let's see if we can do this. All right, is my, is my camera still working? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. We just want to aim this oh, oh, kind of up and we still got it all right now it says these things do explode in air if we do them fast so of course we're gonna try it and they didn't actually hit each other wow and there we go we got it we shot it a little bit far all right and i just wanted to try one more just to see if it was possible to do this one so i'm gonna run through everybody make sure they're all dead so we don't have anyone whacking off my tires there we go we hit a tree already and let's pull back and see if we can do this. All right, so this is really high in the sky. I don't know if I'll be able to... Ooh, you can see it's gonna be very difficult to hit it. I do see it with the camera, though. So I think that's a pretty much a direct hit. Let's see what happens here. Uh, again, I don't know if these things are gonna go high enough. Ooh, oh, look at that. We already hit one of them. All right, let's just let them all go. Okay. Well, that was unexpected, damn it. All right, let's try one more time. All right, knocking at your front door once again, looking right at the clock. So there we go. We're good this time. We'll shoot him off a little bit slower so we don't hit everything. Did he just shoot my rocket? Did you see that? He almost shot my rocket right into the tower. That was awesome. And yes, unfortunately, it's looking like, oh, unless I can use his rockets to my advantage and shoot one over, you can see this guy over here. He's actually shooting my rockets towards the enemy here. Oh, it would be so great if one of them would work. Look at that! That was so close! I gotta take down this damn tower. I just- I feel like I can utilize this guy's shot to my advantage. There we go! Oh, it fucking hit it! What the hell? Oh my god, there's a tree on fire behind it, of course. There we go! Come on! It's so close, it destroyed the bottom! So, oh yeah, we did it! Okay, so it wasn't the epic hit that I wanted, but we actually utilized the enemy to get up to that tower. That was awesome, and we'll throw off these. Do we kill him? No, he's actually really good at throwing those things away. So that is the Titan Missile Barrage, an absolutely awesome creation here. You know what? What happens if we shoot it straight? Do we- oh, 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 um... Okay, that happens. Wow, sorry guys! That guy got a grabber right into the nuts, like, hardcore. That's how he died. That was amazing. Okay, this is officially the cutest thing I've ever seen in Besiege, and, uh, it's only gonna get cuter when you see how it moves. Now, this is called the Zombie Mushroom, and it doesn't really look like a zombie mushroom, but... Oh my god, its mouth opens. Are you serious? When it jumps, its mouth opens. But yes, this is how it gets around. It just kind of hops, and it's called the zombie mushroom. Doesn't do anything else much besides this. But this has one of the cutest movement schemes I've ever seen, and I love that the facial expressions actually change. So can we actually... Okay, we can knock down these guys. I don't know if we can devour them, though. I mean, it's a zombie mushroom, I would assume. It should be able to eat humans. Come on. Okay, maybe this thing's too damn cute to kill. Okay, I think they just killed me. Oh my god, I can't move! You guys are sick and twisted! What are you doing to me? Alright, I'm just going to assume they're in a nice group hug and everybody loves each other. That's- that's- that's what this creation is all about. But in reality, we know they're blood-sucking savages, so I just thought this was the coolest movement scheme I've ever seen. And someone said it's actually based off of Maple Story, I believe. I- I don't know, I've never actually played the game. But I feel like I would definitely find this character in an RPG just wandering about. The zombie mushroom, I don't even know why it's called a zombie mushroom. Doesn't even make sense, but that was fun. Alright, well I could play with this little shithead all day, but uh, I know he doesn't really do too much. So let's move on to something bigger and better, but definitely not cuter. 
All right, and Star Ellie does it once again. I feel like I got to give this guy props because he is the transforming king. We got the Megatron Knight here today, and I will say this is the probably one of the most impressive Transformers that I've seen. I mean, look at it. Even in this form, I would say that would be a cool creation if it just walked around, maybe shot a hand cannon, which it does have, by the way. Let's uh, check that out. So it can actually transform into a cannon, and you can indeed shoot this amazing and then it retransforms back into his ordinary hand at least i think that's what it's doing i don't know what's going on here honestly but it looks damn impressive he can also put on his mask and take it off so if you do want the mask on or off i mean just these small you know details alone are amazing but wait till you see this thing transform uh what is what else can this thing do all right five and six does something oh my god he can fucking blink are you serious? So you can actually, this is for like role playing. You can talk with him with the mouth. Hey, shitheads. I'm a transformer. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Every creation needs eye blinking and talking now so I can talk with them. All right, but now it's on to the fun part. We're going to try and transform this into its transformation. So hopefully this goes well first try. It is a one button transformation, so it should work here. And uh, yeah, let's just, oh God, oh. Oh, every, every, every time I just turn into a little kid when these things transform. Okay, a little bit of lag here, uh, but we turned into a plane. I don't even know how to control the plane, by the way. Uh, okay, engines are on. Go, go, go. Oh my god, we almost crashed, but I think I got it now, and I do have the controls down pat. There we go. We turned into a freaking plane. All right, well, this is one of the damn coolest Transformers I've ever seen. Okay, so I don't know if we can retransform. Can we retransform back into the robot? Uh, actually, I don't think you can, unfortunately. And I lied, you can actually re-transform back into the robot, it just wasn't in the description of the creation, it was just a random button, so... Plane mode, and let's go back... Oh, fuck, man, it's just- it looks like a re it looks like a Transformer from the movie, so it just looks so realistic, and- oh, oh, watch out, it's okay! All right, so obviously the one downside with creations like this, it is using balloons, so it's basically weightless. Uh, but you can't really do something like this without weightlessness. It would just be crazy. Now, it can do one more thing. All right, if we bring up his hand here, I think he can grab his sword. Oh my god, there we go, and press E to y Holy shit. This is the first weapon you can weld in v Besiege. Look at this! Look, I got a, I just took a weapon off my freaking back and I can use it to smack people with. Amazing. Now what happens if I transform with this in my hand? Let's see, let's see what 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 breaks here. Actually, it's just a it's just a jet with a sword now. Look at this. It's just holding it out on the side. Amazing. Okay, well we'll transform back. This probably isn't going to go well. Oh, okay, there we go. We finally broke it. It's amazing it lasted this long without breaking it. So yeah, guys, that was the Megatron Knight. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely Absolutely awesome friggin creation. Wow, I, I am just blown away by the small things you can do with this creation. Grabbing of the sword, absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, using your hand cannon on the side, I mean, look it, you can just- It's not just a transformer, it transforms freaking everything. Best transformer ever right here. I'm gonna say it, and I know I say it every time, but they, they just keep getting better, damn it. All right, and finally, we got, uh, the dancing hot dog from Snapchat. At least I think that's where it originated, right? Uh, yeah, literally anything can happen in Besiege, and sometimes you're just a dancing hot dog. But yeah, guys, we're gonna end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out some of the most innovative and unique creations that I could find for this week in Besiege. As always, guys, I just, oh my god, this guy's too fucking adorable, sorry. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey!